Tonight, the pandemic has brought on a number of side effects in the U.S., including a coin shortage. But as News 9's Gage Golding reports, that problem may be turning around. You might be asking yourself, a coin shortage, how exactly does that happen? The Federal Reserve declaring that shortage back in June. Now, they said the reason why is because people weren't leaving their homes spending money. Couple that with bank lobbies being closed around the country. That left a disruption in the coin flow. But now... Things are turning for the better. Back on July 20th, the Federal Reserve slightly increased um, what banks can actually receive on a weekly basis. So we think we're starting to turn the corner there. That means financial institutions like Main Street Bank is getting more coin in and more to give out. The amount of quarters has tripled and pennies doubled, but it hasn't come without local businesses struggling with coins, many only accepting credit or debit cards. And that's simply because that uh, they're not able to get it from their uh, their their local institution. Gas station and convenience store chain Sheets is feeling the effects of limited coin. While cash is still accepted and change given in return, Sheets is offering several shortcuts around the shortage. One is just to pay with a debit or a credit card whenever our customers can do that. Other methods include rounding up to the next dollar or donating the change to Sheets for the Kids, a charity ran by employees that provides holiday gifts to 10,000 children in areas Sheets has stores. Sheets also unveiled their newest invention, Scan and Go, allowing customers to scan items they want in the store right on the app and checking out virtually. And a lot of these methods that Sheets is using during the coin shortage, like the, the Scan and Go and uh, the ordering on the app, that's going to extend after the coronavirus pandemic, right? That's right. These were in the works before the coronavirus pandemic. It just so happens that uh, scan and go and ordering online or through the app are good ways to practice social distancing. But when will things return to normal at the cash register? Definitely within the next couple of months, we should see things getting back to normal. And although things are turning up, of course, the best thing to do if you have a big jar of coins or just some extra change laying around, take it to your local bank. Reporting for News 9, I'm Gage Golding.